G'day, I'm Paul. Recently we had a stack of information on the 2022 Ford Ranger and the Ford Everest, but our confidential source has been busy and we have some new information for you. And that includes the introduction of a petrol V6 engine for the Ranger Raptor and also the Bronco and information on right-hand drive potential for the F-150 and the Bronco as well, plus the design look at the Ford Ranger Raptor for 2022. But without further ado, let's get started. Let's kick off with the Ford Ranger Raptor. There's some big news here. I'm going to tell you about the three engines that are going to be fitted to that car. Plus, I'm also going to show you what the car is going to look like. And all of this information is from a confidential source who has seen the final product. And as it stands at the moment, this is what the Ford Ranger Raptor will look like. Likewise, the engines as well. They may change between now and when the car is revealed, but this is the information as it stands. It's also backed up by a screenshot that was sent to us from a Ford computer with engine details for the new Ranger Raptor and also the Bronco. So the new Ford Ranger Raptor will have two brand new engines, making three engines available in total across the Ranger Raptor range. For Australia, it's going to come standard with a two litre four cylinder twin turbocharged diesel engine that makes 157 kilowatts of power and 500 newton meters of torque. That's the same engine that's fitted to the car at the moment, which means it's rear wheel drive, but can be put into an all wheel drive mode. And this is likely the engine that's going to come standard for Ranger Raptor for the Australian market and other Asian markets. Next up is a beastie three litre V6 turbocharged diesel engine. This engine's currently used in the Ford F1 50 in the United States, makes 186 kilowatts of power and 600 newton meters of torque. So it's a nice meaty engine, 10 speed automatic transmission, and this will be all wheel drive. So it will come standard with all wheel drive. You won't have the option to select rear wheel drive only. And that's because it's making so much torque. It will give the Raptor the kick in the pants that it needs. This engine's likely to be made available for the Australian market plus Asian markets as well. And there could be a chance that they roll this one out in the States. Although the States isn't a big diesel market, so it's highly likely that this engine may not be available in the States, but they could offer it eventually. Now, this is the one that has us excited, the 2.7 litre EcoBoost V6 turbocharged petrol engine. It's called the Nano. This is version two of that engine. It's mated to a 10 speed automatic transmission. It makes 242 kilowatts of power, 542 newton meters of torque. And this engine is currently used in the F-150. Now this will be slotted into the Ranger Raptor for the US market. There is a possibility it will make its way to Australia, but Australia is likely to just be a diesel market. It will be mated to an all wheel drive system only, so you won't be able to do rear wheel drive. Now, how do we know this information? One of our confidential sources has sent us a screenshot from a Ford computer. This Ford computer brings up details about certain prototypes, and this particular one was off a Ford Ranger. And within that information that you can see on the screen there, it says 2021 Ford Ranger, the T6 platform, and then it shows the Nano 2.7 litre turbocharged V6 engine. You can also see that it says it's all wheel drive, which means it won't be available in rear wheel drive because it's probably a little bit too much torque for a strictly rear wheel drive only application. And you can also see there that it says left hand drive, which leads us to believe that this will go into the Ranger Raptor for the US. And we do think that the Ranger Raptor is going to be offered in the US because Ford has trademarked that particular vehicle for the US market. And the trademark images they used show a sliding rear window on the car, which we don't get in Australia. And that leads us to believe that Ford will be making the next generation of the Ranger Raptor available for sale in the US with this turbocharged Nano V6 EcoBoost engine. Now let's have a look at the design. This is the bit that has me most excited. This follows on from our recent story about the 2022 Ranger and Everest. This particular design that you're looking at here is the all new Ranger Raptor. So you can see those meaty wheel arches. It has the Raptor insignia on it, and it's going to get what Ford calls, I'm gonna read this out here, Fox Racing Shocks Live Valve Technology. This is fitted to the latest update of the F-150 Raptor, and it brings with it adaptive damping plus a jump mode, which makes the landing a little softer if you do decide to get some air in your Ranger Raptor. Now, if you do want more detail, you can head to our website by using that link up there. That'll take you to our news story. There is a whole lot more detail there in written format, along with images of the 2022 Ford Ranger Raptor and details to our previous story, which was the 2022 Ranger and Everest as well. Okay, let's move on to the Ford Bronco. This is a car that is scheduled to be launched in the USA on July 13. So if you're watching this video before July 13, soak up the information. If you're watching it after, you probably 
probably have all the information you already need, but I'll go through it anyway. That same screenshot that we just showed you for the Ranger and the EcoBoost Nano Engine includes some interesting information. In that screenshot, you'll see mention of U725, which is Ford's internal code for the Bronco. And that tells us that this engine is going to be fitted to the Bronco. The Bronco, of course, shares a platform with the range of the T6. It's a slightly modified version of the T6 platform, but it will get the same modifications for the 2022 Ranger and Everest, which means if you can fit the engine into the Bronco, you can fit the engine into the Ranger. Whether it's at launch or down the track, we don't know for certain, but this screenshot tells us that Ford has been testing it, and it does confirm the rumors that were already circulating that the Bronco will pick up this meaty turbo V6 engine. Now, unlike the Ranger, the Bronco is going to be made available with both the 10-speed automatic transmission, but we've seen spy photos of a seven-speed manual in the Bronco. We don't know whether Ford will be able to offer the manual transmission with the EcoBoost Nano V6. So there is a chance Ford will have another engine available if buyers choose to go down the path of a manual version of the Bronco. Finally, let's wrap up with some exciting news that we just came across, and that is the potential for right-hand drive for both the F-150 and the Bronco. That means we could see the Bronco and F-150 in Australia as factory right-hand drive cars. Where's this information from? Well, Ford ran an investor presentation trying to woo all their shareholders. And one slide in particular showed where they're trying to focus their efforts on fixing launch executions. One of the tidbits of information there was that under the Ford Bronco and under the F-150, they had a little dot. And according to the legend, that dot was for IMG Markets. IMG Markets are the international market group within Ford, and that's Ford's designation for around 100 markets that include both Australia and New Zealand, along with a stack of other left-hand drive and right-hand drive markets. While it's not a confirmation that both the Bronco and the F-150 will be made available in right-hand drive, this is the best indication yet that we will be getting these cars in Australia and not having to rely on Australian modifications that change it from left-hand drive to right-hand drive. These often cost a lot of money and price these cars much higher than they really should be for our market. So what's my take on all this? I tell you what, I'm genuinely excited because I'm a big fan of the Ranger Raptor. I love the fact that a lot of the engineering work for the Ranger Raptor and also the Bronco has taken place right here in Australia. A lot of the design work as well. I love the look of the 2022 Ranger Raptor and it really shows a meaty presence on the road. A lot of the other manufacturers are going to struggle to keep up with Ford if they don't get into the tech space and also start offering a wider range of engines. A V6 diesel will really kick the Ranger Raptor along nicely, but my fingers and toes are crossed for the inclusion of that Nano EcoBoost V6. I've driven that previously in the F-150 in the States. It is a good engine. It gets along really Really nicely it makes a hell of a racket and I don't know it's it just really complements what is already a good chassis in the F-150 so putting that into the Ranger will mean a whole lot more fun I don't know whether they'll offer that in Australia but it does look like the Ranger Raptor will be rolled out into the States with that engine they're not a big fan of diesels in the States so that petrol engine will really herald a big change for the Raptor in the States which is currently only offered with a 2.3 litre turbocharged EcoBoost four-cylinder petrol engine what about the Bronco this thing just makes me feel warm and fuzzy inside. The Bronco is just a return to fun SUVs. Unlike the Gladiator and the Wrangler, which are fun SUVs, but don't really come with a wide range of engine options for Australia. There's also the safety issues there. Ford will really go hard with the Bronco to make sure that it is available in as many markets as possible. The potential for both the F-150 and the Bronco to come to Australia in right-hand drive is a good sign of things to come. It really will broaden Ford's appeal in our market. Ford sells a whole lot of Mustangs and Rangers, but not a whole lot more. By bringing in these vehicles, it will really widen the availability of cars for Ford locally and will ramp up their sales numbers. Ranger is already catching Hilux in the Australian market by increasing the technology appeal and giving you a wider choice of models and engines to choose from. That means buyers locally will have a stack more options to choose from instead of just Let's admit it, the pretty bland four-cylinder diesel options that are currently available. Let me know what you think about all this in the comments section below. If you want a full breakdown of this story, click on the link up here to be taken to our website. Over there, you'll find all of the details in written form. We've got pictures there of what the Bronco is going to look like, plus the 2022 Ford Ranger Raptor. You can also follow links there to have a look at the 2022 Ranger and Everest as well, along with more details on the right-hand drive potential for F-150 and Bronco for the Australian market. 
market. Let us also know what you think about the format of these videos. Do you want us to keep doing these on new car topics that pop up? Let us know in the comments below. If you have enjoyed this video, I would love it if you could share the video, hit the like button, press subscribe, and also hit the bell icon that's gonna tell you every single time we publish something new. But until next time, take it easy.